Hey guys, a quick tip video for today. I want to show you how to upload code to your processor without any debugging at all. Uh, this is mainly to do if you're doing some kind of testing or production or anything like that. So the first thing that you're gonna need is the correct file. And the cor to do so, you have to configure your project to also compile the .bin or .hex file as well. So let's go to the project, properties, and then go to the C, C++ build and settings. So this is going to open the build settings. Go to tool settings and then to the post build options. Here we can see that you can option the convert to binary file or convert to Intel hex file. And if you click this like that, click apply, click apply and close. Then the next time that you're going to compile, it's also going to compile the .bin file as well. So you can use this bin file to directly upload it to your processor. In this case, I have just a test file over here, a LED blinking, and I can upload it. If you have a JLink, so this is for the JLink users as well, you can use the JLink software package that you can download from the website. It's also for Linux. So I can go to my embedded folder, find my JLink folder. Here are all the commands and we want to use just the simple j flash light so j flash light yes it's for testing only we select our processor family by clicking here and you find your correct processor on our f4 discovery board we have the 407 vg and you can leave this as default okay and we get this window you can erase the chip or select your bin file so let's go to our uh, desktop so our uh, documents videos and my untitled folder with the test and if we go to the debug here are all the files here's also the .elf file as well so we can click the bin file open and click program my device is erased right now so nothing is going on and if i click the program device done and if i reset the device i can see that the led is yet blinking so this is kind of the way you can do it with JLink. But if you're just starting out, then you're probably using the STLink. For that, you can go watch my, one of my first videos to how to install the JLink. And that way I have also in my embedded folder the JLink as well. So this is the uh, software from uh, Texan from GitHub that uploads the, your code to the ST microcontroller. So go to STLink. And here is my two ST Flash and ST Info Utilities. I also made them global. So if you go to nano.basherc and we go to the bottom of this file, you can see that I added path for the compiler folder and the ST link folder, including those two executables. So this is all I mentioned in the previous video. So you can go check that one out. So if it's all global, you can do ST Flash. Yes, any dollar completes. And we're gonna go ST flash write. And then the name of the file, which is in this case located in documents. And then stm32 videos untitled folder. Then we're gonna go to the test.7 debug. And it's gonna be probably named. Let's see what it's named test okay so we can go test dot bin and then where to write it the default for stm marker controllers the flash starts at this address zero eight and then six more zeros six like that or we can just delete this zero at the front it's same and if i were to click this enter it would write this file to this location so this is for you st User. So this is really useful if you're automating something with like Python. So with Python, you can call this command so you can automatically upload your firmware to your devices if you're doing something like that. Also, there's another tip for the IDA because let's put uh, one more tip and you can see it's all ugly. I think this syntax highlighting is not very pleasing and it's because this is a new a workspace and some settings that I haven't copied is this is one of them. 
So to change your syntax highlighting as well, in this theme, go to preferences. And in this case, I have dev style theme applied and you can go to change theme and color. And here you can see the theme background, force colors and all that. And you can import some kind of things. You can click browse and it will take you to your browser. Oh, this is on my second monitor. And you can download endless themes and syntax highlighting and all stuff like that. But here I already have downloaded one and it's in my uh, software folder. So it's on my workspace software, Eclipse themes. And this is the one that I like. It kind of reminds me on the uh, JetBrains. So I really like their syntax highlighting and you can click apply. Apply and close and you can see it's much better. So this is how my videos normally look like. So this is just another uh, hack or so to say to ease your programming. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.